All right, welcome back. So yesterday I talked about what club sports are doing. And I'll just give you a quick recap. If you missed yesterday's video, go watch it, all right? But I talked about how clubs in the past, they've just had, you know, Tuesday, Thursday practice. So two or three times a week practice and then games. And a lot of parents who want more help, they would look for speed and agility training, private training, injury prevention, like college consulting, uh, camps and clinics, they're looking for additional training for their child. And what these new clubs or these more sophisticated clubs are doing in all sports is they're starting to realize, well, we can just wrap all of these things up into our club to eliminate private trainers, right? I talked about that in yesterday's video. I, it's way more in depth on that video. So go watch that if you missed it. So today I'm gonna show you what the heck you should be doing to prepare yourself for this. Um, because I'm not gonna say like, if this is gonna happen, it's already happening. I've already talked to enough club directors that have businesses. They're introducing this sort of stuff inside of their club and they're making a ton of money doing it. Um, and it's, like I said in yesterday's video, it's going to take business away from you as a private trainer unless you have and I call it an ironclad business, right? And this is what an ironclad business means to me. This means that when parents sign up for your program, they are getting and they're investing into a, tr a true transformation. That does not mean that they're just signing up for one time a week training and that's all it is. They are getting a true transformation. And this is what I teach our students inside of our accelerated program, how to do. It's not just how to build a, a good business, it's how to build a program that ultimately delivers a true transformation to your clients. And a lot of that comes down to not just what are you doing at your session, but what sort of value do you have outside of your session? Like, what are you actually doing? What's the true transformation that you provide? So if you are providing a true transformation to your clients, the parents of the kids that you work with, they should be diehard fans of yours. Now, if you have that sort of environment, you've built that sort of culture, great job. If you haven't done that yet, you need to change your business and you need to make it that way. Because when these clubs start swallowing up speed and agility training, private trainers, injury prevention, college consulting, camps and clinics, when they start to swallow up this business, it's going to be easier for them to just partner with you versus create it by themselves. And here's why I say that. Because if you have such a good reputation in your, in your area, you've proven great results, then you as a business owner, you have an undeniable asset that you've created. And these club coaches would rather just partner with you because you have the thing that they don't have yet, right? And what's easier for them? Is it easier for them to like take the time and learn how to build everything or just go get you and have you come to them, right? And here's the beauty of this. If you have an ironclad business, you'll be in a position to ultimately position yourself for these clubs to where they will not just partner with you, but they will make your business a lot better because they're going to have so many leads at your disposal because like a good club, if, let's say they have, I'm just going to say they have, you know, a thousand kids in their program. That's a thousand parents that you probably don't even know yet. And you'll have direct access to that email list. And if you're doing private training, speed agility training, camps and clinics, college consulting, or injury prevention, if you're doing any one of those five things, like, if you get 10% of that, let's say you get a hundred clients out of that and you're charging $200 per month, making that's an extra $20,000 per month. Of course, that's gonna be divided between you and the club, but that's amazing. Like you can do that. You can access their network if you have an undeniable asset. This is why if you create a category of one business in your area where you literally have the best thing, these clubs will seek you out to partner with them. So. Why am I telling all this? It's because you need to have a business that's set up that way. You need to have a really good business because if someone looks at your business and like, oh, well, this guy's just doing it on the side, 
they will never take you serious. If they look at your business, they're like, wow, this guy has like a machine in the area. I think we should partner with him because like he's going to add more value to our club if we have his name, his or her name, right? So the way you overcome all the stuff that, that clubs are about to do, it's you have an undeniable business. You then partner with them, right? And they partner with you because of your asset that you have because of the results that you've produced, right? And with that, then you can ultimately then be the director of private training at the club, right? That could be part of your role as a business owner. Um, and you could should still be able to have free reign to train kids from any other club, right? And the club will want that because if you have a big reach in your area, it makes sense for the clubs to partner with you because they're like, all right, well, we know he's gonna get a lot of kids from other clubs. If they come train in our private training program, like now they can be introduced to our club and now the club's gonna make more money on the back end. All right, so this is why like, if you start thinking this way as a private trainer or any of these niches, these clubs should want you. They should not look at you and be like, ah, oh, like we need to run this guy out of business. They should not be thinking that way. They should be thinking, how do we get this guy? How do we get this girl to work with us? That is different, right? And when you have an asset, that you've built over time and that asset is undeniable these people will want you and i am telling you right now this is just straight up i'm talking to a lot of people who are in this business right now they are all over the idea of swallowing all of these things up right and a few of them that i've spoken to right they know if they have those things incorporated, incorporated into their club, then the kids in the club will stay longer and they're getting better quality training. It's a win-win for the club, right? So I hope you can understand where I'm going with this. This is not something that's happening in the next 10 years. It's happening right now. While I'm speaking, right, this is happening. I've already talked with so many people that are in this space here. I mostly talk to people that are in these niches daily. Like that's the point of this channel. That's the point of our consulting business is to help people start local youth sports training businesses. We've done that for the last six years and we've done great, right? But this is coming. It's happening right now. Be ready for it. And I don't want to hear any complaining in the next couple of years when, when this becomes a, a really like normal staple in your area. And if you don't have the best business in your area, they're not going to want to partner with you. I'll just be very clear. They're gonna find the person who has their ducks in a row. They're gonna find the person who's the most organized. They're gonna find the person who delivers the best results and transformation in the area. And if that's not you, I am, like legit am afraid for your business, right? Because if you watch the first video, right? I gave a pretty clear outline of what is happening. And in this video, I showed you exactly what to do. So. Hope this helps. And uh, if you're a private trainer and you wanna have an undeniable business like that, that's what we do in our program. So I would really, really encourage you to text me at this number right here. Let's get on a short call and we will help you set up a business like that. So when this happens, you're gonna be chilling. All right, that's it for today's video. See you soon.